More news ahead. Let's get a detailed look at your forecast. We showed you earlier, big rain coming our way. Mm -hmm. uh, the worst storm of the season, Astrid. Yeah, and all things considered, we've had a very benign winter season. Very few storms, but tonight we are in the middle of one right now. And if you're uh, on the west coast of the island, especially, you're feeling that. Overnight tonight through the Victoria area, we are going to see some rain. It will stick around for tomorrow morning and then ease off. Temperatures are going to be nice up to 13 degrees tomorrow. Here's a look at your temperatures right now with your live school net weather sensors. A little bit cooler up towards Ray Watkins Elementary School there. The rain gauge collecting just over 21 millimeters of rain towards Shawnigan Lake School there. Not quite as much, but these are, uh, you know, different pockets all over the island are getting different amounts of rain. Uh, not giving you the forecast for Hawaii. Just want to show you where this is coming from. This Pineapple Express coming from just uh, north of 30 degrees and as it comes on up it's bringing all that moist subtropical air to the south coast of BC the west coast right now under rainfall warning so it, up until Saturday morning we're looking at up to 160 millimeters of rain along the west coast house sound through the sunshine coast up to 100 millimeters through Vancouver up to 80 millimeters of rain of course if you're at higher elevations that's going to mean snow for you here are the pockets where we're seeing rainfall right now and the heaviest rain in just a few isolated areas in yellow. So that's what's happening right now. Here's what we can expect for tonight up around the north end of the island. Windy off and on, especially through exposed sections of the north end of the island. Temperatures around six degrees. We're looking at a good bit of rain overnight tonight through many communities, easing off along the east coast of the island as we get into tomorrow. Windy at the waterfront through the Nanaimo area, windy heaviest rain coming through the Tofino area and into the Alberni Valley where a lot of that precipitation came as snow today. For the South Island, temperatures holding fairly steady between about 5 and 7 degrees. So along with this moist air, we get these milder temperatures popping us up to around 13 degrees in the capital region tomorrow. Again, the rain is going to be heaviest in the morning for us in Victoria, easing off as the afternoon approaches. For the Cowichan Valley, you two have lovely temperatures to look forward to. 12 degrees in Duncan, 11 up to Crofton, Chimenez. The morning looking gray and wet and the afternoon a little more dry. If you're through Nanaimo, you'll still have those windy conditions, especially near the water. Temperatures to 10 degrees for you, 13 Parksville, Qualicum. The west coast of the island on uh, alert all along the coastal areas, especially on the beaches. Parks Canada warning you, if you're going to watch the storms, you've got some very high waves coming your way, four meter seas, so watch for that. Nine degrees through the Alberni Valley with another 10 to 15 millimeters or so as we get into tomorrow. Lots of snow, plenty of wind up near Mount Washington, temperatures to plus three. So you can see how these milder temperatures are affecting all of Vancouver Island. Up to the north end of the island, we've got windy conditions through the exposed sections of the north coast there. 10 degrees through Port Hardy, and again, heavier rain early in the day, easing off as the afternoon approaches. So as we head through the south coast of BC, we get a bit of a break later tomorrow in Vancouver at 11 degrees, and then we see some off and on precipitation as we head eastward. Over the next seven days here's what you need to know we get this rainstorm easing off for saturday sunday looking much brighter and then we dry out but while we're drying out we get cooler overnight lows so take a look around the mid island heading into minus three overnight for a couple of nights there up around the north island you too will have a beautiful stretch of sunshine once we get through this storm but temperatures are going to be cold overnight. Mm -hmm. Finally tonight, here's your weather watcher. And thank you so much to Karen from Yubo for sending this beautiful picture. Rain and fog in Yubo. It's gorgeous. Nice to see that sunshine attempting to break mm -hmm. through. And we will see that sunshine breaking through on Sunday. Our reward of getting through this uh, most significant storm of the winter season so I far. I guess the waters on Couch and Lake don't look that calm tonight. I'm quite sure they don't. Yeah. yeah. All right. Astrid, thank you. You're we'll welcome. see you at six. Okay.